cool. So glad, glad everybody could uh, join us there. Uh, you know, I, I do hold classes on, on Zoom at the uh, Raja Academy on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays at 11 o'clock uh, my time. Uh, and, uh, and every other uh, Saturday at one o'clock uh, my time. And so you're, you're all welcome to, uh, to join in on that. And so uh, we, we, we probably should uh, go ahead and get started since, uh, you know, we're, we're, we are going to be a, a little bit short on time here. And so, uh, you know, we'll kind of, you know, just play with uh, maybe use some of uh, the drills that, that we kind of use already in, uh, in our Filipino martial arts training which is uh, like the Huba drill or the uh, uh, Paksao drill and, and just use those drills to, to help, uh, you know, create entries, right? And so, you know, we all have our specialties that, that, we, that we use to, uh, to get in. And, and, and so we just want to create timing. We want to create ways that we can go in and, and just, experiment with with what we already know and maybe also open some some new doors to uh things that would help us explore other things within other arts um, so uh you guys remember my son here uh mike so he's going to be helping uh, us today and so uh when we're doing we're going to start off with with just basic pox out right which is that when, when the person is uh, punching and, and we're kind of slipping to the side, right? And then coming in and kind of engaging the hands, right? So you guys can kind of see that, right? So when we're doing that and we're doing this back and forth, right? And we're engaging. So right from there, you're giving him pressure, which means he's going to give you pressure back because he doesn't want to get hit. This is where we're going to apply our lock, right? And so you're noticing what I have here, right? This is actually a break. So oh. you, you kind of see that, right? So basically what we're doing is, is we're going into the horse stance, right? So it kind of <laughs> gives you an idea. So, you know, again, you're seeing the motion of coming in here and doing the horse stance, and that's an actual break. Right. So now, right? So again, right? Get, you want to slip that. So you're not going to just stand here and block and try to get it out of the way. You're actually going to step out of the way, right? Because mm. this is the target. Leave it out, okay? And I, I want to be here. I don't want to block this right here and, and actually get punched in the face, right? So when it comes in, I want to make sure I get to the side. When I come in here, see, I'm actually at a, a position where he's really, really weak. And so if I want to push him, I can. But mm -hmm. then there's my lock, right? Mm -hmm. There's yep. my break. So if I have this and for the old time martial arts guys who know what a ten con is, where where I step behind, and you could see the the motion of this wrist just being snapped. Yep. Okay, so that would be a ten con. You see how he ro rotated his body mm -hmm. around, and he's actually mm -hmm. using his other hand to support him from collapsing totally to the floor. Yep. Okay, and then there's your break, right, right here. Mm. Okay, all right. So that's one basic entry. Okay, so off of the Paxau drill again, right? I'm in here doing this, okay? I am actually going to actually enter the other hand. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm splitting him open. So when I split him open, I can go in. When I go in, 
I can uh, use this here and I'm taking his neck in one direction and I'm taking the rest of his body in another direction, right? And so basically you're gonna use your chest and you're just gonna, you know, just expand your chest and that'll start making things start to go crack. Okay, so I'm gonna do it from the other side. Okay, so again, we're in here, right? I, I, I'm doing this drill, right? I'm here, I shoot in, and, and, and there he is again, right? So again, you could do this. If his arm collapses, okay, that's okay, because now I'm going to drop him on the floor. Mm -hmm. And you see where his neck is. This is right already here. Whoops. <laughs> that, that, I know that hurt. Just a little right. off the top. <laughs> uh, well, a little bit off the top, yes. All right. <laughs> let me do that from the other side of the end. From, let me see. Yes, from the other side. Okay. So again. You know, we're in here, right? Notice I'm making this opening, right? Let's move back a little bit. So when I do this, boom, he's trying to stop this. I'm making this opening here. This is where I reach in mm. and I rotate, okay? If that arm bends, and even if it doesn't bend, he starts to struggle, right? You're going mm. to just take it right there just take your elbow and take your fingers, just take your pointing finger and point it to the floor, right? Yep. If you point your finger down, he's going down. Mm. Okay, you see where his head is? There's a knee to the back of his head. There's the elbow going down. And if I drop him, right, he'll break his arm on yep. the way down. Okay, because I was holding him up. So you could give that arm a nice little jerk and just pull it out of the socket. Bobby and Alvin, you so, see how I like, drew too from Sarah? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so here we are again. Okay. Now sometimes I punch low and he'll come back. Again, notice he's blocking my hand. Now you see this hand here? This is my right hand. I go to the elbow and oh. down he goes, right? So we're just using that to learn our transitions, right? So I'm in here, right? It's just quick, you know, and right there, kick to the back of the head, right? So, so you can see how easy you can use these transitions to you can use finger locks, switch, right? Back down, back up. You can throw, right? You can kick to the head, right? Back up. So we're just using our drills that we already know to just play with our entries, right? And so I can come in here and you're seeing the, the lock. Okay, I'm going to slow that down. <laughs> and so I want to just put his hand out here. Okay, so basically when when I came in here, here, I came under. Yeah. And so when I come under, I, I just take his head and just like dunking a basketball, right? And I, I have it here. So this allows me, I can, I can pump me him. I can do the Muay Thai steps, right? I can knee, I can continue taking him down. Gives me the uh, elbow here. What you don't see is my uh, left front foot because see, he's using his hand to keep from falling to the floor. My, my foot actually traps that hand, right? And this, I have it here. And so now I have him in a crucifix, mm. right? 
Now, I'm going to take the, the, the phone <laughs> here and try to show you that, okay? All right, so what you saw was I had him here and his hand was there. So now I have my foot covering his hand and I take this here and I put this behind his head, see that? So I kind of have him crucifixed, right? And so this is right here. If I apply pressure, you know, that separates the, the bones behind the neck, you know? But it just gives you an idea, you know? I can go down to one knee, that takes him even further down. And, you know, the, the lock is kind of nasty. When, when we're doing these, these motions, right, you, you can see the, the motion of taking this down, right? So I actually went into a different one because, you know, I grabbed them different, right? So notice how he's putting his hand there. Let me, let me get a little closer, up, right? You notice how he's putting his hand there? Because I'm applying pressure, right? And so if he puts his hand there, then you can just tip him down, right? And just drop him, right? You know? So, you know, that, that's the thing, you know? There, there'll, there'll be times where they'll use their hands to... Uh, and the thing is, is that, you know, a lot of times when I'm doing this, it just depends on how the person responds. Mm -hmm. And so it might not be exactly the same thing twice, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, in fighting, you have to uh, actually be able to create in motion, right? If you can't create in the instant, then you're lacking a little bit. You should be able to, whatever he does, you should be able to respond right then and there. So, so a lot of times, you know, when I'm doing this kind of stuff, uh, you notice I'm keeping him occupied so that, you know, you know, when, when I'm doing this kind of stuff, you know, I'm covering his eyes, you know, and, and so, and if I start dropping him, you know, there's the spinal tap, right? Spinal tap. <laughs> I had to drop him, right? But it just gives you an idea of how you're using your drills, right? Right? Notice how I'm making sure that he, he I, I don't want to just do this and let him punch me in the face, right? You know, I want to get that hand. Oh. You know? Now notice this one here, all I'm doing is putting it on my thigh. Now this is straight and I, I'm holding it on my thigh. If he tries to move, he can't, right? And I'm just holding it right there, hmm. all right? So it just gives you di different options, right? So if I'm here, his face is right there, I can just take his face off with a kick, right? So it just gives you a uh, lot of little different things that you can play with as you're doing this. Again, right? So when I'm doing this kind of stuff, you're seeing the slow motion of right there, right on my, on my leg, right? So I'm holding it tight so it stays there. This is already there, okay? So again the, that twist on the arm it doesn't allow him to to pull right and so so a lot of times when we're grabbing right if we just do a regular grab he can pull out pull out okay when i do this grab here and i turn and i'm turning it it's harder for him to pull out Okay, he doesn't have the leverage. See how he's trying, right? But, and so this is where you're going to control that, right? It's, it's just getting that twist and putting it in your hand so it's just right, okay? So, so a lot of times when we're doing this, right? This one hurts, 
right. You know this one, Brandon. Yes. Right. So this <laughs> is okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna tell you about this. All right, guys. All right. Now there's grabbing and then there's grabbing. Regular grab, not gonna do it, okay? When I grab, I have my fingers already like this, like a leopard's paw, okay? So when I grab, I'm doing this. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so let's switch. Let's see inside. Okay. Uh, so, right? If I do a regular grab, there's nothing, right? He can pull away, pull away, all right? When I do this and I grab, pull away. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you don't want to pull away? No, because my skin will stay there. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and so it, it, is, it is really nasty, okay? This was taught to be by uh, Ricardo Mendoza from the Sphinx Karate clan of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And so he's already, it's already. <laughs> bleeding under the skin. It, it's already bleeding under the skin. Oh. Okay. So the, uh, so it gives you an idea, right? So a lot of times when, when I'm doing this kind of stuff, right? And, and we're doing this and I'm in here and I, and I already pulled him. You can see the, the quickness of, mm -hmm. he, he, he's going to come because I am going to separate the, the skin from the meat, right? Cause there's a layer of fat there. Once I take that and I pull, uh, it's just going to create that separation of the skin and the meat. And once that separates, it just creates a big blood clot right in there, right? So, so uh, again, when you're doing this, really, really be nice to your partner, because then it's going to be his turn to do it to you, right. all right? So when, when we're doing this kind of stuff, right? And I'm in, relax. <laughs> 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 Notice where he put his hand, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. He wants to protect that arm because he thinks I'm going back there, right? <laughs> right. So when I did this, you know, he's putting it there, right? So once he puts it there, you know, you know, there he is, you know. Okay. It's, it's just simple. Just remember, simplicity is going to work a lot better than complicated stuff. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, a lot of times when I do this, now what you're seeing is is that same motion on the mm. chest. Oh. You remember that the first time I did that, Brandon? You're a mute, sir. Yes, I remember it painfully. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. So the oh, thing is. <laughs> this is it is pain and you know that's one of the things I like to do is I like to work with pain mm -hmm. the more it hurts you know the more it's gonna work in your favor okay so so when you're seeing this kind of stuff right you have to create the opening right you have to create the opening so you can grab that skin I grab that skin I can pull him and again, there I go back to the other motion, right? Okay. I can collapse that back leg and down he goes, right? Then I have the, my fingers right under the gland, under his jaw, right? And then I'm pressing, right? And so you could just as deep as you can go under that gland, just boom, or you can just rip the throat out, right? It just gives you options, right? But again, I'm being nice, right? 
the uh, a lot of times you'll see the this is the break, right? Mm -hmm. So what you're noticing is if he's going to punch with that other hand, right? You're seeing oh. this, right? Mm -hmm. This is my break, right? Mm -hmm. Groin shot, okay? I can go hitchhiking, right? That's to the eye, you know? You know, this can be brought over and you could drop him, right? Now, once he's here, okay, now I'm gonna have him stand up a little bit. Stand up, stand up, okay? What you'll notice is, is that the wrist, the elbow, it, it's not meant to go in this direction. So when you take this and you start pulling, right? This is going to snap right here. All right, this, that's just like doing a bow and arrow, mm -hmm. okay? So it's just little, 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 little things that you can do, right, with, with, with these motions, right? You know, it, notice I'm occupying that, that hand, right? Okay? And there you are, right? There's the, uh, the snap, right? So as you pull... It's like taking a chicken wing and popping the, the, the joints. <laughs> okay. So, you know, hopefully I'm giving you guys ideas. Okay. okay.